inshallah in this class we are going to discuss about the few concepts and formulas of product of vectors now you see here i wrote few statements on the board watch carefully we are having two types of products product of vectors one is dot product and another is cross product dot product is also called as scalar product and cross product is also called as vector product why because dot product of two vectors give a scalar quantity that is a number it when we find the dot product we'll get only a number not a vector not a vector the number is called scalar scalar quantity where whereas cross product of two vectors gives a vector product vector quantity therefore it gives a vector quantity therefore it is called vector product in numbers when we do in general numbers we say a dot b cross b same but here in the vectors a dot b is different from a cross b watch here how to find a cross b and a dot watch carefully dot product is denoted by a dot b dot product is denoted by a dot b and cross product is denoted by a cross b so whenever we write we must be careful dot product and cross product are different in vectors now how to find the dot product very easy very simple see here suppose we are having a equals to a1i plus a2j plus a3k b equals to b1i plus b2j plus b3k then a dot b can be written as vector a dot vector b vector a dot vector b how to multiply we have to multiply the coefficients of i plus coefficients of j plus coefficients of k now coefficients of i means a1 into b1 plus coefficients of j means a2 into b2 we should not write i just multiply a1 a2 plus sorry a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 so this is the method of multiplying two vectors dot product suppose we are having a equals to 2i minus 3j plus 4k and b equals to 3i plus 2j plus 5k so what will be a dot b a dot b means we have to multiply 2i product i coefficient 2 3 is a 6 minus 2 plus minus 3 2 is a 6 multiply coefficients of i then coefficients of j then coefficients of k plus 4 5 is a 20 that is plus 6 minus 6 cancel so dot product means just we have to multiply the coefficients of i 2 3 is a 6 plus coefficients of j the plus coefficients of k so this is the method of finding dot product very easy so this is the method now what is cross cross product how to find cross product cross product is the determinant you see here how to find the cross product suppose we are having a cross b equals to first row we have to take i j k in the second row we have to take the coefficients of a and the third row we have to take the coefficients of b suppose now we have to expand this according to the determinant form we already know how to expand the determinants now see here suppose a equals to you are having i minus 2j plus k and b equals to 2i plus j minus k so what will be a cross b how to find a cross b the first row i j k then the coefficient of a 1 minus 2 1 1 minus 2 1 then the coefficient of b 2 1 minus 1 now we have to expand the determinant we have to expand the determinant so this is the method of finding cross point we should not be confused always the dot product is this and cross product is this now one more things what is the definition of dot product definition of dot product is a dot b equals to mod a mod b cos theta we can also say like that the dot product of two vectors is the product of the magnitudes of two vectors mod a means magnitude of a mod b means magnitude of b mod a into mod b means product of the magnitudes of two vectors and the cosine angle between them and the cosine angle between them Whereas the cross product, product of the magnitudes of the two vectors and the sine angle. So A cross B is mod A mod B sine theta into n vector. Because this is a vector quantity, we have to write n vector. What is n vector? I'll just explain you. So A dot B is mod A mod B cos theta. A cross B is mod A mod B sine theta into n vector. What is n here? n is a unit vector perpendicular to a cross b. Suppose we are having a plane. Suppose this is the plane. And on this plane, we are having two vectors. Suppose this is vector a, this is vector b. 
So always A cross B will be perpendicular to the plane. A cross B will be perpendicular to the plane of A and B. A cross B is a vector perpendicular to the plane of A and B. Therefore, we here A and means is a unit vector perpendicular to the plane of A and B. Unit vector perpendicular to the plane of A and B. So here and means the unit vector perpendicular to the plane of A and B. But if we apply mod here, we, we can take the vector here. Mod of A cross B means only magnitude. So you remove this n vector, this is the magnitude mod A mod B sin theta. So when we write mod of A cross B, it will be mod A mod B sin theta. Now let me see some more things. Suppose dot product obey commutative law. Dot product obey commutative property. What does it mean? That means A dot B is always equals to B dot A. Whether you find A dot B or B dot A, the value will be same. A dot B equals to B dot A. Whereas cross product does not obey, that is A cross B is not equals to B cross A. A cross B, that means it does not obey commutative property. A cross B is not equals to B cross A. Then what is A cross B? What's Q for? A cross B, its value will be minus B cross A. That means in cross product, if we change the order, then the sign will become negative. The sign changes. A cross B, if we write B cross A, then sign will changes. The next thing what's good for you. Now, what will be A dot A? A dot A, must always remember, this will be A square, the magnitude, okay? A dot A will become always A square, that is the magnitude. The vector will become only the scalar number. Whereas A cross A, a cross A will be 0 because cross product sine. So sine angle between A and A will be 0. Sine 0 will be 0. So always cross product of two same vectors is 0. Cross product of two same vectors is 0. Now watch careful. In the same way, if we write I dot I, it will be I dot I is, watch careful, its value is 1. In the same way, J dot J will be 1. In the same way, K dot K will be 1. Okay. But I dot J will be 0 because angle is 90 and cos 90 is 0. So I dot J is 0, J dot K is 0 and K dot I will also be 0. Because in dot product we have the family of cos. So cos 90 is 0, angle between I, J, K are 90 degrees. So this will be I dot A1, J dot A, J dot J1, K dot K1. Whereas I dot J is 0, J dot K is 0, K dot I is 0. In the same way, come here, cross product of two set, same vectors will be 0 because angle is 0. I dot I k j dot j k cross k, k cos k, sorry, this will, this will be 0. Now, what is the next thing? Watch carefully. Suppose this is I, this is j, this is k. Watch carefully. What happens? I cross j. I cross j will give k. I cross j will give k. You go in the order wise, okay. In the same way, j cross k, j cross k will give i, j cross k will give i. In the same way, k cross i will give you j. Must by heart, watch carefully how to by heart this one. Remember this one i cross j equals to k, j cross i equals j cross k equals to i, i cross j equals to k k cross i equals to j. But if you reverse this one, if you go reverse of this arrow, watch carefully, you remember like this. If you go reverse of this arrow like this, j cross i, then this will become minus k. Reverse this one. Reverse this one, k cross j, k cross j, this will become minus i. In the same way, k cross i, no, i cross k, i cross k, this will be minus j this will be minus j. Now see here we are having some applications of cross product of vectors. Now first is area of triangle. Suppose there are two ways of asking area of triangle. Suppose two sides are given, suppose a and b are the sides, a and b are the two sides of a triangle. Then the area of the triangle is given by delta equals to half of mod a cross b. When sides are given then the area of the triangle is half of mod a cross b. But sometimes sides are not given, only vertices are given. 
suppose a b c are the vertices but in vectors a means position vector of point a we have to represent by o a this is o b this is o c then we have to find two sides suppose this side is a b first we have to find a b so a b formula we know o b minus o a now let me find a c a c formula is o c minus o a then we have to use this formula half of mod a b cross a c half when vertices are given first we have to find the sides a b and a c now area of triangle with vertices o a o b o c is delta equals to half of mod a b cross a c a b is one of the side and a c is one of the side in the same way in parallelogram there are two ways of asking the question one thing is given by adjacent sides suppose this is parallelogram when adjacent sides are given a and b then the area of parallelogram with adjacent sides a and b is delta equals to mod of cross a cross b mod of cross a cross b delta equals to mod of a cross b delta equals to mod of a cross b but when sides are not given but diagonals are given suppose a and b are the diagonals one diagonal a one diagonal b when diagonals are given we have to use half here with the diagonals a and b if question is given that the a and b are the diagonals then we have to use the formula this when question is given a and b are the adjacent sides we have to use this formula so with the diagonals 1 by 2 half of the mod of a cross b same as that of the triangle now see here a cross b is a vector perpendicular to both a and b just now we have seen suppose there are two vectors a and b this is vector a this is vector b so always a cross b is a vector perpendicular to both a and b a cross b is a vector perpendicular to the plane of a and b or we can say both a and b next we see here unit vector perpendicular to the plane of a and b unit vector perpendicular to the plane of a and b is written as a cross b by its magnitude mod of a cross b mod of a cross b unit vector perpendicular to the plane of a and b is a cross b by mod of a cross b now unit vector perpendicular to the plane containing the points if suppose not vectors are given we are given with three points suppose a b c then we have to find two vectors suppose let me find a b then a c then a cross b what will be the formula in place of a in place of a we have to write a b cross in place of c let b we write a c by mod of a b cross a c so when points are given first we have to find two vectors a b and a c how to find a b a b is nothing but o b minus o a and what is a c o c minus o a we already seen this in the previous class now next what is here watch carefully suppose unit vector means magnitude 1 unit vector is magnitude 1 therefore we are dividing by the magnitude 5 by 5 1 10 by 10 1 so we are dividing a cross b by mod of a cross b to get 1 but if we ask is for a vector of magnitude 6 and perpendicular to a and b magnitude 6 means we have to multiply with 6 magnitude 10 means we have to multiply with 10 suppose magnitude of k question is like this and perpendicular to both a and b magnitude of k means k into unit vector so unit vector is a cross b by mod of a cross b so that is unit vector is 1 1 into k will be k magnitude of 6 means 6 into magnitude of 10 means 10 into like this now let me uh, use the use of dot products first thing is how to find the angle between two vectors we use dot product angle between two vectors a and b angle between two vectors a and b is cos theta equals to a dot b by mod a mod b whenever we have to find angle we have to use this formula cos theta equals to a dot b by mod a mod b cos theta equals to a dot b by mod a mod b now condition if vectors are perpendicular then angle is 90 degrees so cos 90 is 0 bring this here it will be 0 so a dot b will be 0 so condition for perpendicular vectors that is if the angle is 90 degrees we say this perpendicular vectors so condition for perpendicular vectors is a dot b equals to 0 whereas condition for parallel vectors if two vectors are parallel then the angle will be 0 that is sine will be 0 so a cross b equals to 0 condition of perpendicular vectors we use this so condition of perpendicular vectors is a dot b equals to 0 
and condition of parallel vectors is a cross b equals to 0. Now see here how to use the formulas. Suppose we are having mod of a cross b, a plus b. So mod of a plus b is nothing but under root of a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2. We should not write a b. You must write a dot b. Vector a dot vector b. a square you can write this becomes scalar. This is also scalar a square plus b square plus 2 a dot b. In the next step we have to use the formula of a dot b. What will be a dot b? Mod a mod b cos theta. So under root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta. In the same way mod of a plus b plus c is nothing but under root of a plus b plus c whole square. That is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2. We should not write a b or a cross b. We must write 2 a dot b plus 2 b dot c plus 2 c dot a. Now see a little concept here. Suppose we are having this is vector a. Watch carefully. Suppose this is vector a. O a. And suppose there is a vector b. Vector b. Suppose this is vector b. O b. Okay. Let this be b. Now if you drop a perpendicular, watch carefully, if you drop a perpendicular from here, projection of B on A, this is, suppose projection. So this is called the projection of B on A, orthogonal projection of B on A, this one, suppose this point is, suppose P, then OP, this OP is called the projection of B on A, or we can say the component of vector B on A, or projection of B parallel to A, or along A all the means same so this is the projection of b on a okay and this is called projection of vector component of b perpendicular to a this bp is called component of b perpendicular to a just little concept before going to the formulas so we are having formulas for this watch carefully the orthogonal projection of b on a or we can say projection of b on a or parallel to a or along a in the direction of A, all the words same, or the component of B on A, vector component of B on A is A dot B into A by mod A square, B on A, vector component of B on A is A dot B into A by mod A square. If you say it's magnitude, magnitude of projection of B on A, magnitude means this will become mod A, so mod A and mod A will get cancelled, so this will be A dot B by A. If we say magnitude, it will become mod A, so mod and square will get cancelled. A dot B by mod A. In the same way, projection of B perpendicular to A, component of B perpendicular to A, component of B perpendicular to A is B minus A dot B into A by mod A square. In the same way, we have seen B on A. Let me see A on B. So, A on B means reverse. So, projection of a component of A on B is A dot A dot B into second vector into B by mod B square. And its magnitude will be a dot b by mod a mod a b sorry and component of a perpendicular to b is a minus a dot b into b by mod b square you must by heart this formulas now see here one or two formulas are there vector equation of plane in the normal form vector equation of plane passing to the point a passing to the point a and perpendicular to vector n and perpendicular to the vector n perpendicular to the vector n is r minus a dot n equals to 0. In the same way, one more formula, vector equation of the plane whose perpendicular distance from origin, perpendicular distance from origin is p and whose unit normal drawn from origin is n, is r dot n equals to p. You just by r this formula. Lastly, if the plane passes through the origin, then the equation of the plane will become, p will become 0. So, r dot n will be 0, r dot n equals to 0. So these are the few formulas from dot product and cross product. Still we have vector triple product and scalar triple product. These vectors we have seen a cross b and a cross b and a dot b. In the next we have to see triple product a cross b cross c like this triple products or a dot b cross c. So let me continue triple product in the next part inshallah we are going to see the applications and formulas of triple product of vectors and the process level concepts okay so if you are understanding this if this video is helpful to you then i request you all to subscribe share and 
uh, share with your friends inshallah and like this inshallah we are going to continue in the next class